In this week's IMT Standard Bank Fresh Produce Market Overview, we discuss why carrot prices are likely to stay in an upward trend while avocado prices decreased for the sixth week in a row. We also look at the latest online market prices from Nile. All in this week's episode, so make sure to stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Johnny van Amerwe and welcome to this week's AMT Standard Bank Fresh Produce Market Outlook, all made possible by Standard Bank, Nile.ag, Halfway Jota and Thematic Irrigation Systems. To make sure you get the latest information first, subscribe to AMT's YouTube channel or WhatsApp groups, where we usually share some extra information as well. The links are also available on AMT's Facebook page or just send me a message directly, I can also try and help you. Looking at the latest economic news, the rand weakened further against the US dollar, with the dollar still very strong due to good demand and also the fact that we have been placed on the dreaded international grey list for money laundering and terrorist financing. The latest exchange rate traded on 18 rand 46 per US dollar. The Brent crude oil price remained mostly sideways and traded at $82 per barrel, which is slightly lower than last week, mostly due to a lower global economic demand. Potato prices increased by 5% on the markets the past week to an average national price of 68 Rand 57 per 10 kg bag. The average class 1 price traded to 72 Rand 56, while the average Mondial price increased to 68 Rand 57. The class 1 large Mondial price traded between 72 and 78 Rand per 10 kg bag on the Nile.ag platform. The expectation is that volumes can stay on a lower level which can keep prices on a slightly higher level over the next week or so. Tomato prices decreased by 17% to 11 Rand 70 per kilogram due to 26% higher volumes reported on the markets. The class 1 price decreased to 13 Rand 50 with prices likely to recover this week and stay in general on a general higher level until April when we expect prices to peak again. Carrot prices decreased to 5 Rand 34 per kilogram with volumes on the markets increasing by 15% the past week. The class 1 carrot price decreased to 5 Rand 52 while Nile.ag's class 1 large price stayed on 75 Rand per 10 kilogram bag. Looking at price expectations for the coming few weeks, we are expecting prices to stay in an upward trend until the end of March where it can peak due to limited supplies and higher demand expected. Carrot prices are likely to stay high in April, however it may start trending downwards then. Onion prices continue to decrease and traded 3% lower on 58 Rand 79 per 10 kg bag. The class 1 price decreased to 62 Rand 62, while Nile.ag's class 1 large medium brown onion price decreased to 75 Rand per 10 kg bag. I feel that onion prices can stabilize very soon. Looking at other vegetable prices, the latest cabbage price decreased to 3 Rand 54, garlic prices increased to 42 Rand 93, spinach prices increased to 6 Rand 36, while sweet potato prices increased to 7 Rand 21 last week. The average national pepper price decreased by 15% to 12 Rand 93, with green pepper prices decreasing to 8 Rand 28. Yellow paper stayed relatively constant or on a higher level on 21 Rand 53, while red paper prices increased sharply to 29 Rand 24 per kilogram. Paper prices will likely stay on a higher level for the remainder of this month. The pumpkin price decreased to 2 Rand 53 per kilogram last week. This broadcast is made possible by Standard Bank, Nile.ag, Alford Yota, and Thematic Irrigation Systems. Nile's online market makes it possible to order directly from South Africa's leading producers, which is also available on their app at the moment. Producers get the benefit of better price transparency, low commissions and faster payments. Learn more about Nile.ag on their website www.nile.ag. Also contact Andrew and his excellent team at Halfway Toyota for the best service and prices nationwide for the Toyota of your choice. In the fruit market, banana prices increased to 9 Rand 7 cents, while the average class 1 price traded higher on 10 Rand 53. This increase was mostly due to a 3% decrease in volumes the past week, as was expected. 
On Nal.agra the class 1 large hand variety price is traded slightly lower on 190 Rand per 18 kg box. We're expecting prices to increase over the coming two weeks due to lower volumes, but then possibly start trending downwards as more volumes are expected to enter into the markets. Apple prices continue to move downward, decreasing by 1% to 7 Rand 99, with the class 1 Apple price on 8 Rand 30. The latest pay price decreased to 7 Rand 44 per kilogram and is likely to remain uh, on a lower level this month. Orange prices started to decrease due to supply pressures and traded on 9 Rand 36 per kilogram, with the price likely to continue on a downward trend over the next two months. The latest lemon price also decreased, trading on 5 Rand 9 cents last week. Avocado prices decreased for the sixth week in a row with the latest price on 16 Rand 46 per kilogram with the class 1 price decreasing to 21 Rand 79. Looking forward, we're expecting this price to decrease this week again but then possibly start to stabilize at the start of March. I still feel that the Avo and the Orange prices can stay on a low level compared to previous seasons based on higher expected supplies to the markets and possibly put some pressure on the profitability of the producers. Table grape prices stayed on 17 Rand 40 while the latest pineapple price decreased to 9 Rand 34. Somatic irrigation systems are built to last, from industry leading durability and strength to innovative enhancements and advanced technology. Every product is designed to be a part of a custom and flexible solution that will best support you and your field. This broadcast was made possible by Standard Bank, Nile.ag, Halfway Toyota and Zematic Irrigation Systems. I'm Dr. Johnny van der Merwe and thank you for watching.